Hey everybody, it's Michelle here again with Birthy Hoover. Here at Birthy Hoover, I am a full spectrum plant-based holistic doula and an advocate for all things safe, natural, and effective. Here on this channel, we discuss all things pregnancy, birth, and womb health related. So if you guys like the content, you like what you hear on the channel, please be sure to subscribe. Today's topic is going to be about uh, glucose testing um, during pregnancy. Um, this is a test that they uh, give you, that medical providers give you to test you for gestational diabetes. Um, keep in mind that this is a routine test. It is in no way, shape, or form mandatory. You can decline um, if you choose to do so. I'm just here to talk about the test as a whole. Um, I wanna first just get right into discussing um, what's in this uh, glucose drink. Um, you, uh, usually you're getting this test around 25 to 28 weeks. I'm giving a time frame only because I've had some women say different times. I've had someone say as early as 25 weeks. I've had someone say as late as 28, 29 weeks. Um, but somewhere in that range, they are advocating for this test. Um, you go to your doctor's office or you go to, you know, the, the site where they do the testing. They give you this drink, uh, it's different flavors. You have to drink this whole bottle of a million grams of artificial sugar because that's pretty much what it is. A lot of these drinks contain uh, BBO, uh, brominated or brominated um, vegetable oil. And this is also known as a um, flame retardant. It's also uh, known to cause liver problems it's known to cause heart issues it's known to cause neurological uh damage behavioral problems it has been associated with all with all of these different things um and i'm not sure why we're still giving this to pregnant women and that's my biggest concern that the ingredients in it and not only is bbo in it but there's also uh artificial sugar there's also a ton of preservatives um, high fructose corn syrup, GMO ingredients. And it's a large amount of sugar going into your body at one time to try to test you for um, insulin, you know, problems or, or your inability to um, produce or, you know, deal with sugar as it comes into your body. And I just don't understand why we are not uh, told the alternatives or why we are not um, given a safer alternative in the beginning. So here's the safer alternative. They have a hemoglobin test, which is called, I think, an A1C test, where that's that's one of your options. You can also do a finger prick. Finger prick testing, I believe you go home with the machine and everything, and you every time you eat, you have to test your sugar before and after your meal. You have to document all of these um number readings and you have to present them to your provider uh or you can drink grape juice uh i think 16 ounces or something like that or all natural orange juice there are so many different other options eat a large breakfast a hefty large breakfast and then go in for the testing um but there's so many other options or alternatives and there's also the ability to just say no for us to be drinking this kool-aid um with all of this food dye and all of this other stuff that's in it and putting that into our bodies with our babies in our bodies so i don't advocate for this test because yes while there are some options that don't contain the bbo um they still also they still contain other ingredients that are harmful that, that cause thyroid problems and these are things that we are constantly seeing in our communities. We are constantly seeing these problems later on in life, behavioral health issues, ADD, um, you know, thyroid problems, infertility issues. We're seeing these so often when we are 
older and in these newer generations and we're not correlated and i'm not saying that it's just because of the glucose test but these are things that contribute to these factors and we're not looking at it we're not um connecting the dots and for me personally if there was a a uh, hundred cupcakes on the table and i knew that one of them was poisonous would i go to the table and pick up a cupcake no that doesn't mean that everybody who picks up a cupcake, something is going to happen to them. But what somebody has to risk that that cupcake is going to do something to them. So this is my whole um, outlook on this. So please do your due diligence, research, research, look up these ingredients, and please do not just take anyone's word for it. Um, you have options. I've given them here. Please act. Please advocate for yourself. Please say, hey, I would like to do this. I would like to do that. Or just please say no, because it is detrimental. And it's harmful for you and it's harmful for your baby. And the experience of your labor and birth is at an expense. So thank you guys for coming in, tuning in, checking out the video. I will be back for the next video. Remember, I'm Michelle, a doula with Birth Uhura. Um, if you have questions, please email me at birthyhoover.gmail.com. I will see you guys for the next video. Please drop your comments and topics in the comments. Peace and pregnancy dust.